Hey guys, so we're coming up to the end of a school year and we're about to start a new school year. So depending on where you are, you're either really over this school year or really excited for next school year or a mixture of both. I'm a mixture of both for sure. Um, and you may be looking at curriculum for next year. So I thought it'd be a good day to do a video on how I teach math. In case any of you are starting to research curriculum or wanting to switch curriculum, I'm just gonna tell you what's worked for us and what our plans are moving forward. So. Um, we initially start with Horizons Math for kindergarten and first grade. I think it's a great program for laying down foundation level um, math, just the beginning stages of math, and it's really good to be working on the worksheets right next to your child. For me, that's been really helpful to establish good routines as far as um, showing your work, and it has laid out the tens place, the ones place, all of that really well for both of my kids now. Um, my son is completing the first grade and he's about to move on to the next program we use. So um, after Horizons K and 1, because I think their first grade is a little heavy, it's a, it's a lot of work, we move immediately into teaching textbooks level 3. Now teaching textbooks starts at a level 3. Um, the reason that we do that is because there's a lot of review at the beginning of level three and because level one of Horizons is so heavy, I feel like it's a good blend to, um, to move from one to three. Different curriculum, different, um, everyone's in a different place, so it's a good transition. That's, that's my best transition, to be honest with you, and I know um, there are a lot of other families who do, who do the exact same thing. The reason that we don't stick with any other math curriculum after that first grade year is because I felt like as we were getting into new concepts with my daughter, for whatever reason, math was the area where her and I just really struggled to connect, and it was causing a little bit of, of struggle in our relationship, and with the second grade math curriculum that we had started to use, we were very... Uh, we were both very anxious when we would go to start math because um, the relationship was kind of experiencing a little bit of turmoil uh, just because it, math's a really hard subject to teach and it's a really hard subject to learn. It's something that we have to remember that while we've been using these simple addition and subtraction and multiplication facts for our entire lives, we're presenting this information to these little minds for the very first time and so if we're overwhelmed teaching it, you can only imagine that they're overwhelmed receiving it. And so for the sake of our relationship, um, not that it was really that bad, but I just felt like I didn't want that sense of struggle um, between us. It's okay if there's a challenge as far as learning. Um, but I didn't want the challenge between us. I didn't want her to be more worried about me when we were doing math than just concerned or excited to be learning new facts. So uh, teaching textbooks has been a lifesaver for us in that sense because one, it's really fun for them. The screen is busy but not overwhelming. They have a little buddy that dances around. They can offer hints if you, would, if you want them to have hints. Um, it's kind of fun, the lecture, they're kind of writing on the screen while they're, I'm gonna put a little clip at the end so you can see what I'm talking about, but they're writing on the screen while they're talking, the kids are interacting a little bit with the lecture on the computer, and then during their, their lesson, while they're doing their practice problems and their answers, it's just fun. There's little dings and little jumps and little hurrahs, and there's bonus rounds every now and then that just keep them going. Those are more game style, and they really, really, really like it. My son has really been motivated to finish um, level one of math so that he can move on to teaching textbooks and I've actually allowed him to start working on it now just as an incentive to finish and he's so excited. And the funny thing is when my daughter's doing any of her bonus rounds, all of the kids are gathered around her cheering her on because it's just fun. They don't, they don't really recognize it as math. It's just fun, it's exciting, it's fast paced. Um, but at the same time, it can be slowed down to their level. Um, they can repeat a lecture over and over again, and there's um, not such a pressure that goes along with it because as a parent, I can go into the grade book and if she got a bad score, um, then we can go back through and rework those problems together, and then I can choose whether or not to allow her to repeat them for a different grade. So um, it's not a total, there's not a final answer as far as her grade goes, so it saves um, it saves their spirit a little bit as far as wanting to continue learning. They're not so discouraged. It's also been really great because my older kids will have, you know, about 20 to 30 minutes 
of independent work on the computer with doing the math and I can focus on my younger kids and that's been super helpful as well. So while she's doing her math and next year he's doing his math, I can sit with my preschooler and spend that 20 to 30 minutes being really intentional. But it's not a complete loss for me. I'm not completely disconnected because I can go through my grade book at the end of her lesson and I can see everything from the number of attempts that she um, tried a problem to whether or not she used the hint to whether or not she wanted to see how to do the answer. So it, I'm very involved in that sense. I don't just say, what was your score? Okay, good, and then move on. So that's very helpful. It keeps, it gives opportunity for me to be intentional and very involved on each and every lesson as well. So you guys know that, uh, and I kind of joke about it, but I'm being totally serious. Technology is a struggle for me, and I struggle to keep up with things as they advance. And YouTube was a total accident. I kind of stumbled right into it, and it's been really, really fun. But you may be surprised to know that as Teaching Textbooks has moved into their new 3.0 program, I've followed and kept up with that. So before Teaching Textbooks 2.0, which is still available and still awesome, um, was on CD and it came with the um, a workbook style for you if you want to uh, use it to teach the lessons as well. Um, and then you could reuse the CDs for each of your kids. Their new 3.0 program is online. Um, you pay the subscription online. Originally, I believe you had 10 months to finish it. Now you have 12 months to finish it. If you're year round, that works out great. Um, they've added some new features and the grade book and all of that is just the same for me on the 2.0 2 and the 3.0. So. That's a motivating factor for me. Uh, if all that really changes is a lot of exciting new stuff for my kids, that's awesome. Uh, one of the things that I can do now as a parent, and again, I'll show you when I move on to, um, to the little lesson, but I can turn off hints. I can turn off their buddy if their buddy is distracting them or if they need to earn it for any reason in school. Um, I can turn off the buddy sounds. I can turn off all that extra chaos, uh, but I can still go back in and I can see um, the same stuff in the gradebook that I could see before. And then for my kids, they can change their wallpaper, they can change their buddy, and that's really exciting and motivating for them as well. So let me go ahead and show you a little glimpse into a couple of the lessons for the different grade levels here. Okay, so you start here at the login on their website um, and you put in your parent email and then choose if you are the parent or the student. So we're gonna start as a student here. I'm gonna show you Isabella's Math 5 that she'll be doing next year. They each have their own password as well. Um, so you click on this main interface area and this is where their lessons are, but it's also where they can customize their own pages. So that's really fun for them. So we're gonna go and we're gonna choose a lesson And then up here in the corner under hint is where their buddies are. And these little buddies kind of dance around and interact with them throughout their lesson. Uh, over here you can choose if you want your characters to have sounds or if you want them, uh, if you want to change them. There's a lot of different options. There's different options for each level. So Jesse in his level three will have different options for his wallpaper and buddies as well. Okay, so once they've got all that settled and they feel ready to go, they can change it for each lesson, then they go ahead and they start their lecture. Lesson four, millions. See if you can write this number with digits and don't forget the commas. Awesome. Practice A, you need to give the next number in this sequence, 14, 22, 30. That's right. So right over here, they can select if they want to see how the answer was found, which is really beneficial. Nope. Click yes to see the whole. Remember, commas go after every third digit starting from the right. So whenever you write a number in words, it's really important to remember that you need to put a comma in the same places that you do when writing the number using digits. That means that the answer to problem number one is true. Okay, so now we're going to go back over to the main interface and we are going to log out. We're going to log in as the parent. So I'm going to show you what we can see from our gradebook here in the parent homepage. 
This is where we can make a lot of changes. We can view the grade book. We can also turn on or off hints or second chances. They have second chances while they're doing problems. They don't have second chances during quizzes, but we can leave it to where they're doing their work. They only have one single chance. I will also want to mention well, we're kind of in this area that if you are not able to help them because you can see an answer book as well, but if you're not able to help them, teaching textbooks gives free tutoring. You can make a phone call anytime. The number's on their website. If you're a teaching textbooks customer, your kids can get free tutoring on the phone, which I think is an amazing option. So over here, I can edit problems. If I feel like we went back and reworked them together, I can also see the number of attempts that they made uh, and if they viewed the solution. So if my kids get them wrong both times, I can say, well, you didn't go back and, and look at the solution, so let's go do that. Or I can also say, oh, you got all three multiplication problems. You had to use two attempts. So let's go back and work on your multiplication a little bit. So now we're in Jesse's level three and you see it's a different wallpapers and different buddies. So there's no competition there. They all have different options. Perfect. And let's do a little lesson for him. Add one plus eight. For this problem, add zero plus six. You got it. Excellent. Ferdinand subtracted a number from 6 and got an answer of 1. What number did Ferdinand subtract from 6? Time out for a hint. So let's make sure that we check on this hint here so you can get an idea of what the hints are. Just think of the number that is 1 before 6. And then here you can see that the students are also able to view their grade books and it looks very similar to the teacher's grade book, but they don't have the option to edit or change things. And then one final thing I wanna throw in here, make sure that you go on Teaching Textbooks website, you can do placement quizzes and sample lessons. And I think that if you get your kids on a sample lesson, it will be really helpful in making the decision for your home. So that's a free sample lesson available on their website. So that's how we teach math in our home. If you guys have any questions about any of these programs, leave them in the comments below. I'm super excited because Teaching Textbooks reached out to me recently and this is going to be a new partnership for me. So that's a lot of benefits coming your way, um, including maybe a giveaway coming up in the near future um, and a lot of new exciting improvements that they're making and fun things that they're gonna be rolling out over the next year. So um, I kind of joke that it saved our homeschool and that may actually be more than a joke because when you start to get discouraged in one area, it carries over into other areas. So I'm really glad that Teaching Textbooks came in and gave me a breath of fresh air and a new life in our math area of school and that's really carried over into other areas as well. Um, so if you have any questions about that, leave them in the comments below and I will come back through and answer them as I can. Before I let you go here, I wanted to tell you about three new exciting things that will be coming up here soon with Teaching Textbooks. I told you I'd have the inside scoop, right? So, first of all, soon enough you'll be able to pause your subscription without having to call the customer service number. They're also going to be adding a printable feature to the ebook that is available with your 3.0 subscription. And then last but not least, certainly not least, they are going to be offering a large family discount here soon. So it's if you have anywhere between four and eight children, you can have four to eight users. And the cost breakdown, obviously, the larger your family, the, the lower the cost per child. So make sure that you stay tuned here to my channel, to their website, to their Facebook, and keep an eye out for these upcoming features. See you soon, guys. Bye.